I was born 1970 and I started working here when I was nine. They always used to say if you love what you do it's not a job and that's what this place is to me. You can feel that river coming right over them trees right now and then you look at the tree line and you think you own as far as your eye can see and I mean how bad a day you got. You got low milk price, you got bills, you got this, what are you going to do? Control what you can and what you can't, let it go. We got a whole lot of family here. My uh, Scotty, my cousin, is the other owner of the farm. And then we got Scotty's son, Colin. And then we've got uh, my daughter, Hannah. Harrison works here in the summertime. Harrison loves being here, loves being around the guys, loves being outdoors, which is nice to see. And Hannah's the same way. She loves everything about the place. Hannah's a lot like me. So and so Harrison. Our middle child, Henry, he was uh, named, named after my grandfather, Henry J. Wood. He was just like me, he acted like me, just looked just like me, he was me. I mean, he's a kid that jumped out of bed before it was time to go and had to come like I did when I was a kid. You know, and when he was nine, he got leukemia, and then he passed when he was 10, 13 months later. It screwed me up, but I mean, it, it makes you, uh, I mean, I was an optimist before, and then you get to be a little more of an optimist, and that's, that's how I want my kids to be. You know, be positive about stuff instead of being negative about stuff, because negativity gets you nowhere. You know, we put the orange H for Henry. You know, I didn't want him being identified strictly as having leukemia, that's what the orange is for on the H, but I also wanted the H on the end of everything and on the shirts and everything, because, you know, it represents him. You always feel he's with you every day anyhow. You know, he'll always kick me in the butt once in a while and say, knock it off, Dad, go, you know, settle down or do this or do that. And it's just what he does. He loved everything about this place. There was nothing. He loved the fields. He loved the cows. I mean, he loved seeing the cows come to the bunk when you fed them early in the morning. He'd stay up for the first three loads, and then after that, he'd fall asleep. And then you'd wake him up about five hours later. And he'd go, we all done feeding? I'd say, yeah, we're all done feeding Henry. You know, you just keep trying to do the best you can, and that's what makes it even more special with the kids working here. Seth, you need some muscle in there? You got some out here. Working with them every day and getting to do them things, it just makes everything that much nicer. You got hay bales going in the hay barn. You got just good, nothing but good things. Scotty's mowing with a mower. We're going to put in round bales the rest of the week. How bad you got it, you know? Not bad.